guys, it's Dustin the Pro Picker here. I'm going to share with you some somewhat recent thrift store finds. And here I am at my local Goodwill. And they do have some new stock carts to come out here. I end up passing on this Jeff Gordon clock. Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot sold. So this NYC Tophobia, I, I, I guess Necto, I don't know. Ended up putting that back as well due to sell through. I do grab this rude women's skull oversized sweater deal. And then I also pick up this spirited away sweatshirt or sweater. Nothing insane, but I think we'll get around that 25 to $30 shipped mark on both of them. I ended up with this baseball glove here, but then I ended up putting it back at the last minute. I noticed some additional wear that I didn't notice on the first look. It's always okay to put something back. I do have this Jack LaLanne's juicer here, and it's actually brand new, guys, and I believe they had $14.99 on it, so an amazing pickup right there. That's the second brand new one of those. I think I've sold maybe third. Here is some phone equipment. They had some like brand new headsets and some randomness in there. So for $4.99, I do go ahead and pull the trigger on it. I saw a couple interesting lamps. I'll show a little bit more of those on the recap. This Nikon was a great pickup here at $7.99, $6.99 actually. And yeah, there's comps range around the $60 to $70 range. This little clock here I do end up putting back as well as a little RC car you see in the cart. So this is a Randy Travis print here. I do end up putting it back. Or picture and this was some kind of flask deal this Inesco uh, elephant scene here I thought it was pretty interesting and pretty neat so I do go ahead and pick that up for $3.99 and my cart's already getting very full here and then on this stock cart they had this power cooker XL it's a pressure cooker and it is pre-owned inside of there but yeah definitely a great pickup at $9.99. I do pick up the Brass Eagle. I haven't pulled up an exact comp for it yet and then while I'm trying to leave guys there's like no way this is happening. I see it's scattered all over the aisle here and it's this uh, Vachtersbach Christmas tree dish set and unfortunately they don't have the full-size dinner plates or at least did it when I was there because those are highly desirable I do end up with some dessert plates mugs a few serving bowls and additional bowls so I'll show you some of the comps now we'll get into a little bit more detail on these in just a minute so if you guys don't know these are vintage West German made and yeah people really do desire these and they actually have a pretty strong sell through I know that comps are still being pulled from the Christmas season but yeah definitely really strong sell through on these I think we'll have no problem clearing through them and making some profit and they're definitely priced right so yeah I ended up grabbing a second cart at the next store at the new stock carts there's uh, quite a bit of activity going on so here's the three finds I made including a really clean copy of Metal Gear Solid Going over to the American Thrift here, I do end up finding some jerseys here. Nothing that's going to set the world on fire, but like I got this Griffin III jersey here. And yeah, it's in pretty good shape. And then I also picked up this guy right here. And I believe I'm paying 5 or $6 a piece on these jerseys, if I remember correctly. So not too bad at all, honestly. And then I ended up getting this Cam Newton jersey here. And yeah, that was probably the best of the three. I asked the uh, awesome cashier there. I chat with her all the time. Uh, really nice lady. Uh, about this Disney plush here. It's all Lion King plush. And they're marked at five bucks a piece. So I am really paying up on these. But I think they'll sell pretty quickly. And I should do fine on them. We'll make a profit. So hey. I think Pumbaa and Mufasa are probably the best ones. And then in the back here, I saw this Canon SureShot camera. About a $40 camera here, guys. Hey guys, so I totally forgot this and I picked this up for $10 and this guy goes for like 70 bucks. So pretty awesome. It's this Anova Nano Precision Cooker. See, there you go, $10. 
And so pretty <laughs> awesome. I'm trying to think of some other stuff that I forgot to really touch on. So I did get this brass eagle kind of deal. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> 3 99 And what's some other highlights here? So I didn't really get into all of it when it came to the uh, Christmas tree here. The Vokters Vok. There's a lot of it. There is a fair amount of it. Some of these serving bowls might be pretty good that I didn't uh, really mention. I have this serving plate here. Uh, unfortunately, these are the dessert plates. And like the d dinner plates are insanely desirable for whatever reason. And they go for like 200 for four of them, which is nuts. But yeah, these actually have a really strong sell through because I know every now and then when I get stuff like this, people will be like, that'll never sell. It's going to sell. <laughs> Very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Got the krill sponge here. Uh, $1.99. This is brand new, and I've actually sold a few of these before. We got like two or three of these at this garage sale slash estate sale like two years ago, and they definitely sold around the $25 range, so that's pretty good. Skip bow's usually a pretty safe bet at a dollar, so yeah. And this is actually a really clean copy of Metal Gear Solid here. <laughs> For the PS1, I did pick up this guy, which somehow I edited over. Yeah, it's pretty cool for $2.99. Ready to be rich. Overall, I did think that this was neat. This is Nesco elephant scene here. I'm not 100% sure what it's actually going to go for. I didn't see any immediate comps when I looked it up initially. Some of the best pickups being the Power Cooker XL 8 core. This one is used. They just put it back in its original box. You can see it needs clean, but I'm pretty positive that it'll work just. Then we get the Jack LaLanne power juicer right here. And this guy is brand new in here. I don't know why I'm trying to open this up one hand and I can't do it. But anyways, it's brand new in here. And what I actually pay for it, $19.99. I said $14.99 earlier. So five more dollars, but this always sells. And I think that's what I paid for the last one that I came into on these at a yard sale. Is that at a duplex? I remember that. And I saw it was like the first thing. I saw it from the from the car. I was like, oh, gotta go check that out. As far as the plush goes here, this is all Disney store versions of the plush. So it's not like when the movie first came out or anything, but I figured they would be pretty quick sellers. We got Mufasa, Pumba, Rafiki, Simba. Look at that. I know characters from a popular franchise. I think they're in good condition. We're not going to get rich. Honestly, you saw the comps. We'll make a profit. Did end up with a Redskins jersey here and uh, Panthers. Yeah, so we got like three jerseys. That's pretty solid. This was pretty interesting, this like skull sweater. So I did grab it. We'll probably get like 25 shipped for it. And I'm feeling around 25 to 30 shipped on the Spirit of the Way sweatshirt. So not too bad. So definitely some profitable finds today. Pretty excited about what we picked up in today's video. So I guess a couple things I'm going to address unscripted. So here we go. Now, I had some people and they've uh, mentioned basically throughout the entire winter that they sort of preferred when I made the longer style videos like I do during yard sale season and like I have with my thrift store run videos in the past. However, I did make a decision this year, at least when it comes to my Goodwill videos, that uh, I wouldn't include like the people in the background. And that does end up making me cut a ton of footage and does kind of put me at a disadvantage when it comes to video length. It's just a decision I made, but we're going to be business as usual soon. We've got yard sale season coming up. And on top of that, guys, we do have uh, some estate sales and stuff that I could go to to kind of buy my time for garage sale season. So I'm definitely really excited. And if you've stuck with it this long, just know that the videos are going to get a little bit longer, more in depth, and uh, just probably overall a little bit better than they have been over the winter. Not saying that they've been bad or anything, just shorter and punchier. And it's, you know, of course, I have the recap section, which a lot of people either love or hate, whatever. But just figured I'd address that because it is something that's got that's been brought up consistently. Thank you guys so much for the support over this winter. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.